Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I am back with another painting video. It has been over a year since I've poured a painting and mostly because life got in the way. Um, however, we have uh, received a little news and we need to do some fundraising. Um, my husband is in stage five kidney failure, so we're in need of a kidney transplant and that takes a lot of money. Um, so basically I need to kind of create more work to uh, sell, to raise money for that. Um, so I've gotten back into my studio and I recently did a fundraiser where I kind of taught people how to do the paint pouring and they loved it um, and I've gotten a lot of great feedback and I have another class coming up in January. Um, so in getting kind of back in the swing of things, I had a lot of little paint samples to use up um, and I've gotten some new brands of paint that I just haven't had time to play with. So. Um, that's kind of what these colors kind of came out of. Um, so I contacted Golden like a year ago and said, hey, can I have some samples? And they sent me um, just a handful of these little tiny half ounce bottles. Um, this one is Thalo Green Blue shade and I made these two lovely shades. Really pretty. Um, it's like an emerald green and then more of a mint green because I added some white to this one. This is a new brand. I got this from um, Dick Blick. And this is a super thick acrylic paint. Gorgeous colors. Mixes really easily. Um, and not too expensive. I think this jar was around $10 or $12. Um, so 16.9 ounces, so a lot of paint in there. You will get a lot of paintings out of this. This one in particular is magenta, and so this one with white. And then I also added um, some golden blue interference to this one. You kind of can't see it too much with this. The interference colors show up a lot better in dark shades than they do the light ones. But it's super pretty nonetheless. This one is straight Prussian blue um, with a little bit of blue interference is this one as well. This is a blue and green I mixed together and then added white to it. This is a combination of blues as well and this is straight copper. And these two are rose matter from that Soho. So again, super thick. Now the label says this dries glossy, so I'll be interested to see how true that really is. And then I just like kind of dabbed some of the paint on the lid so that I know what color it really is. Again, this has added white to it, and then this is the true, the true straight paint. The only um, pouring mediums I add are Floetrol or Liquitex iridescent medium. This just kind of adds a sparkly finish. This one you open? Nope, it's not. Um, just a little bit of a sparkly finish to it. It's not too strong, but it is quite pretty. Which one did I add that to? I'm trying to think. One of these greens, I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It is this one. I add the iridescent to this one. And again, it shows up better in the darker colors. So now that that is out of the way, let's get to some paint. I'm going to try to do this in two cups. I want to be a little bit more conservative um, with how much I add to the canvas just to avoid wasting it because you do end up wasting quite a bit of paint with this method. Um, I love it, but it can be a little bit wasteful. And this is an 18 by 24 canvas. And you do want to be careful when you add pink and green to the same cup because you can get mud if you're not careful. I'm 
thing I always do is start with white. And this just helps to allow the paint to flow a little bit easier once you pour it. I also like to have all of my edges and corners covered with paint um, when the painting's finished. Some people don't care. I prefer it with, with everything painted somehow, whether it just be white or it be some of the color that comes off. Um, so that's personal preference. But when you do the white base like this, it does help the paint to flow over the edges a little easier. In the flow trowel, or any pouring medium really, uh, what it helps to do is not just thin out the paint, make it go further, but it also helps it to self-level. So like when you see kind of bare spots or spots where the paint isn't as thick, the flow trowel helps that to level itself. Kind of similar to uh, self-leveling concrete.
So here's that painting all dry. It is not varnished yet. It's got another three weeks or so before I'll varnish it. But I wanted to show you what it looks like dry. Kind of the, the gloss finish does show up a little bit um, in that Soho brand. But it's not necessarily glossier than the rest of them. So um, I wouldn't necessarily buy that paint specifically for that that uh, feature of it. It's good paint, don't get me wrong. Um, really vibrant colors. It's all dried really, really bold. And here is that golden um, phthalo green blue shade fluid. Now, when you look at the fluids, golden is, is a premium brand, but they're, the fluid acrylics are a lot thinner fluid, you know, um, than your other two paints. So don't be surprised when your mixture is thinner than your other ones. Um, so you might need to lose, lose the water in your mixture. Um, and probably less pouring medium as well. Yeah, there's the finished piece and like I said it'll take another three weeks or so um, I'll let it cure before I varnish it but yeah so thanks for joining me today guys um, let me know what you think please keep all of your comments um, helpful and pleasant even if you don't like it just don't comment um, kind of goes back to that old that old saying all the, our, mothers, our mothers taught us is if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. The world has got enough negativity these days um, and we don't need it here. And I'm not afraid to block people who decide to troll. Um, so on that note, we will catch you guys later. Thank you very much for your time and um, the kindness that's shown in this community. I appreciate it greatly. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.